Hi guys, welcome back to Mad About Designs. In today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to design this tetrahedral lamp using Autodesk Fusion 360. If you guys have any suggestions and recommendations, please let me know in the comment sections. Here are the dimensions of the tetrahedral lamp and the tools and commands we are going to use in this tutorial. So without wasting time, let's get into it. First create a new design by going to files, select new design. Create a new sketch on the top plane. Draw an equilateral triangle of sides 20 cm as follows. Finish sketch. Now create a new sketch on the side plane. Draw another equilateral triangle of sides 1 cm as follows. Now draw two straight lines. First one is a horizontal and the second one is inclined as like this. Now give an angle of 54.72 degrees as like this. Now draw another vertical line. And assign distance between these two lines as 0.45 cm. Finish sketch. Now sweep these two profiles around this path. Select the orientation as perpendicular. Operation new body, press OK. Now turn on the visibility of the previous sketch. Sweep this profile around the previous path. But first, hide the previous body. For this scenario, make the distances 0.75 and 0.75. Operation New Body, select the orientation as perpendicular and press OK. Now turn off the visibility of the sketch. Now move these bodies together around this midpoint. Turn on the create copy option and rotate the bodies about an angle of minus 70.5 degree. Repeat the same step for this side too. But this time rotate the bodies about an angle of 70.5 degree. for the last time for this side. Don't turn on the create copy option this time and rotate it about minus 70.5 degree. Now press A for appearance. Go to miscellaneous and immersive. Select the first material and apply to these inner bodies. Now go to wood, unfinished and apply the walnut material to the outer bodies. Here is our tetrahedral lamp ready. Now go to render. Change the scene setting a little bit, reduce the brightness, 
make the environment darker turn on reflection increase the focal length decrease the exposure and close now rotate the camera as per your convenience and put it on render now rendering may take time it depends upon the configuration of your computer for me it took half and one hour and here is the final result thank you guys for watching this video if you like this hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel see you in the next video till then keep designing and design whatever you love bye bye